Okay, so in just one day, we just got tons of information about Saipun. So we have a lot of drama here that's happening here with Saipun, but also we're having some good things happening, and that is that we did eat the dip here. So people did buy the huge dip we did have before, and if you do check out the whales, we can see the whales did sell a lot. Now, those whales didn't sell all their bags, but they did take profit from Saipun. So we're going to check out how much did they actually sell and what is happening here and what's going to happen to the future of Saipun. And we're going to cover this drama that's been happening. Happening. It's not really drama, but it's it's basically something big that happened here to the community. So let's check it out. But guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. It really does mean so much to me if you can subscribe to the channel and like the video because we're going to that 29,000 number. Super excited for the future of this channel. So let's all together go to the moon. So first thing first, here we are at the chart. So I don't want to do some price predictions or anything. I just want to show you guys what actually happened here. And that is that we did have this massive dip and this massive dip did basically do like a 35% decrease. But you can see this green like increase here, which should mean that uh, people from the staple community did buy the coin and we did go up by 30% here. Of course, we are still a lot more down. So we're basically, we're still down by, I'm not still like 15% here, but basically the community did eat the dip. So we just took all of this here. We just bought the dip here and reached all the way back to here to some stable area back to here. So hopefully we do continue to stabilize here and don't go uh, any more down. But is it a good thing or a bad thing for rails to sell? It all depends how you look at it. So the problem is when you're seeing that safe when it's going down so much, people start to distrust it and think the whales don't really like safe anymore and that's it. And what's happening here is that basically those whales just have a ton of coins and that's it. So those whales have tons and tons of coins, have millions of dollars worth of safe one in their, their wallets. And because of that, they want to cash out and try to invest into different coins. Now, why are they doing that? Why are they waiting for it? Well, basically because right now it's Bitcoin season and that's the only answer I have. So it's Bitcoin season and that's why they want to invest into the Bitcoin and the top altcoins. Later on, maybe there's a chance that those wills will buy again later. If we enter like Bitcoin, if we enter altcoin season, they're going to sell their Bitcoins or altcoins and they're maybe going to invest back into safe home. If that happens, it's going to be the best thing ever. Those are just my speculations, but probably some wills are going to do it. So for now, uh, we still seeing the whales selling the coin is a good thing now because we're at such a low price. Of course, if safe reaches an all time high and then the whales sell, that would be a huge, huge problem because then the price would drop even more and that would be pretty bad. And then everybody would start selling. But because these whales are selling basically at the dips, like this part here, nobody's like cashing out their entire wallet, but they are selling chunks and chunks of their wallet. So that's super important for guys to know. So they are basically when, when Safe does have some increase, they sell it. Boom. You just see here increase, boom, selling. So increase here a little bit, selling. At least, at least here, stabilization, then selling. And this is what's been happening to Safe for the last well, long time here. For the last three months, we were still going down. But Hopefully when the wallet is released, when exchange and when the blockchain does release, we're going to see finally people getting back into safe moon. Still, what I think the safe moon really needs right now is institutional investors. And the only way for that to happen is that we need to have exchanges listing the coin. People need to have access to buy the coin. And that's it. Big investors don't want to go on, diff on like five different websites to purchase the coin. They want to do anything. They just want to go on Coinbase, on Binance, where they already have accounts, where everything is already set up. And they just want to buy the coin. And that's it. That's what needs to happen here. This coin needs to get listed on bigger exchanges. And the incentive for the big exchanges to list the coin is the wallet, is the blockchain, is the exchange. If people do use it, that probably those exchanges are going to list the coin because it is useful. There are people who are interested into purchasing safe moon. So this is what I think needs to happen. So basically patience, a lot of patience here and you need to trust the safe moon team in the end. So I want to talk about how much the whales did sell here. So somebody saying here, the whales are selling like crazy. You can see just how much they sold here. Minus 2 trillion, minus 5.3 trillion. It's an insane number here. So almost 10 trillion sold in the last few hours. The old top will just unloaded 5.3 trillion in the last hour. He's down to 2 trillion. So why is this good in the end? It's because these wheels are losing power. Because later on when the coin does go up, basically what's going to happen is that they're not going to be able to manipulate the price too much if they're losing power right now. Let's see this is amazing. There you go. This is what actually happened like 10 trillion. Have been sold. Yeah, 41 trillion whales is now at 2 
trillion. So yeah, there you go. I mean, he can only want to make so much money, right? His first buy was 18 trillion Seifun from $3,800 of investment. And that ended up being worth about $23 million at current value. What? He only made like 6,000 X. What a paper hand. <laughs> Cries in the corner writing this. I almost put up my drink reading that in my head in Patrick's Star Wars. His remaining bag is still more than most people could dream to make of of Safe Moon. If everything went exactly as they dreamed, poor Will, I don't know how he's going to survive. He can just have that 2 million in, in his wallet and he's gonna have like basically tons of reflections. So tons and tons of reflections for himself and that's it. That's just it. So that this is when you purchase the coin super early on and the coin explodes. You just have a huge bag and that's it. This is something that every single coin has. Like every single coin has huge whales. So you have to remember that. So yeah, I want to talk about this, what actually happened. So all of you probably know who Safe Moon Mark is. Safe Moon Mark is a safe, uh, is a safe Moon YouTuber that basically did uh, join the team because he was pretty smart. He was a good developer and he did join the Safe Moon team. Now it looks like what happened here is that Safe Moon Mark did make his own coin called Surge. I didn't really go into Surge. I didn't really make any videos about Surge because it's not Safe Moon and that's it. So basically what happened here is that uh, a lot of people from the Safe Moon community did invest into his token because everybody likes Mar uh, Safe Moon Mark. He's a good guy and everything. And what happened in the end is I think a will did sell the coin and basically it's 5 million has been taken out. And a lot of people just lost a lot of money, but that's crypto basically, that's what happens. So what happened here in the end is everybody's super angry at uh, Safe Moon Mark because he did say something like there are no wills in his coin, which is just not true. So we don't really know if it's a rock pool even, or if it's just uh, somebody that sold the coin. And the most important part is uh, Safe Moon Mark still hasn't really commented on this at least not on his twitter i don't think he made any videos but this is super new here it's all happening in the last like 12 hours so we're probably gonna have a statement from him and that's it but something huge happened here and that is the john here did talk about this saying i wanted to check in and clear things up the individual that created a search that's what safe moon marks coin is called did so without any involvement from safe moon so the, the individual is no longer involved with safe moon the safe moon team will always be transparent and strive for the best we accept no substitutes so so basically safe moon mark is not anymore in the safe moon team now i don't know what's going to happen here to safe moon mark anymore on how he's going to handle this but this is huge so because i remember i remember that the whole community like whole community how did uh, safe moon hire safe marks because the whole community wanted safe moon mark to work to for safe moon now i don't understand why would you make your own coin if you are in the safe moon team like i totally don't understand why would you do this because i want to understand something if you're part of a team why would you shell another coin i know it's your own coin but what gave you the idea it's a good thing to do <laughs> maybe he thought he's gonna help the safer community but i don't really understand how does that work it's like an apple employee like one of the top employees uh, that's like an influencer just shouting out oh i love samsung i'm gonna purchase samsung or like that person makes his own phone of course that app is gonna fire that person it's not he's not gonna stay in the company if he's basically promoting other phones or something like that like other products they're not really from apple so that's what i think is happening here uh it's pretty realistic for, for safe to do this it's it's safe for mark is at fault and that's it there's nothing to say about it <laughs> again here even on discord saying hello everyone i would like to remind you that we have no relation with any other token regardless of the other party's claims if jack or i don't uh, tweet it or the main safe account doesn't tweet it it isn't real there you go. So this person here did post here saying Safe Moon should remove Mark from the project immediately, stating that he is no longer part of this project. They should have never let him start a side project that could ruin their reputation. With everything going on, Safe Moon, they need to immediately remove uh, Mark as a part of the project, regardless of whether it was hacked or rug pulled. He has exposed the water project to huge amounts of crit criticism and distrust, and the actions uh, need to be taken immediately. So they just announced he's no longer on the team. There you go. So he's no longer on the team. We're still waiting for his statement there. This is what actually did happen here. So no really post from Safe Moon Mark here. So he's not anymore a Safe Mark. He's like DeFi Mark right now. 
So we're gonna see. We're gonna see what's gonna happen here because we just, we just don't have enough information for now. So hopefully everything is going to be okay. Well, I don't know what's gonna happen with that 5 million. So I'm really truly sorry for all the people who did lose money here. So hopefully he will just tell us what actually happened. Uh, Safe with Joey actually here saying in the end that uh, he knows that Safe Mark did make a mistake, but he has been working really hard in the community. So that's it. That's yeah, that's about it. But we also have another coin here from Sean, another like safe point influencer. And they're trying to so like Sean here says here we, uh, we when communities come together, that's when they become stronger. That's always been the mission. Safe moon and safe wall uh, can build something amazing here, just like Dogecoin to the moon and the safe moon army. We can do anything together. Now, why is he using the safe moon army to promote his safe vault coin? How can you do? How can you just say take another company's public and try to sell your own coin if that public trusts you for news and for information about safe moon? Like, it would be okay. You can, you can make your own coin, but totally disassociated from safe moon, but other coins, and that's it. Only if, of course, you make a partnership with that coin, that's all. That's okay. If you made a partnership with SafeMoon, it would be okay. But you're shilling your coin through SafeMoon, which I just think is it's just not okay. You could have made Safe Vault. It's okay for you to make a coin. It's okay. okay for, it's totally okay for that. But just don't shill it like a SafeMoon thing. Like you cannot say these two communities need to work together. If you become popular from the SafeMoon community, <laughs> like it's just not right. It's just not right because people are gonna get tricked thinking that this is a safe one product. This is this is part of safe one, but it's not. It's just not, and that's it. Like safe one, just say here. Let me make one thing clear. Uh, Sean here is a good guy and has always been great to the safe one community. Just because he is on another team does not neglect all the time and, and hours he spent with the community. I don't want to hear anything, nothing bad about. So a guy who devoted so much for Safe Moon. So that's about it here. So I'm not criticizing him. I'm just criticizing the way he does things. So his logic here. And especially when I think John did comment about Safe Vault or something like that. Saying they're just not associated and that's it. So do be aware of that. Do be aware of that. Do be aware of what's happening. So yeah, a lot of drama has been happening, but it still shows you that in the end, the safe community is super strong. You just see how much we did eat the dip. Just destroyed the dip and that's it. That's why I'm super excited for the future of safe room because people, there's just a huge army here waiting for safe room to actually go up and good things to happen. In the end guys, I'm not a financial advisor. If you if you do want to buy these coins, please do your own research first. If you did enjoy this video, it means so much to me. If you can like this video, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.